Welcome back to the channel in episode 8. So, engine's all out, it's on the stand behind me. Um, I'm going to be looking at getting the bonnet back on, but if you remember, I couldn't get this off. Um, this bracket got stuck, so I'm going to turn my focus to that now. Uh, I've just heated it up with the um, map gas torch, gave it, gave it another go of that. Uh, it's still not moving. Um, it's pretty much rounded off inside there. If you remember, it's like an Allen key bolt. So um, I've put a nut extractor on it. I'm going to try and wind that out now. Um, so let's crack on with that, get the bonnet on. Then we can look at getting the car outside, move the engine out into the middle of the garage. All the work starts. Okay, so looking at this stuck stud, um, it's completely rounded off. If I've got one here, uh, it looks like that. And it's... Um, I think it's a 6 mil Allen key. Yeah, it's a 6 mil Allen key. should go in there like that and just turn it. That's completely rounded out, so I can't do anything with it. So I'm using these stud extractors, bolt nut extractors, actually these ones. Um, they're fantastic. You put them on, and as you turn it, it grips harder onto the nut. Um, I've had a lot of success with these, so let's try. Let's see if we can get it go. So after the um, job of getting the engine out, I've done the easy job of putting the bonnet back on, which is basically just two two bolts this side, two bolts that side. Um, no, obviously no problem at all. Um, engine sitting here. Um, just to look over it really and just oil everything up. You can see how much uh, debris is inside the, the V. Uh, I don't know if you can see there. There's even a snail living in it there. No, dead snail now. Um, that's going to need a lot of cleaning. So just starting on that journey now, trying to strip down the top of the engine um, to get better access to the heads so I can get those away. Um, just trying to take this piece off. Like I'm finding most of the engine, um, nothing's done up particularly tight. So um, I'm just removing these pi this pipe work so I can take the whole this whole assembly off. Uh, there it is. Oh. I'm not sure if I've undone it enough. Um, so what I intend to do is for each bit like this, I'm trying to take off the biggest lump possible uh, so I can put it away, label up roughly where it came from uh, and then when I come around to, re to um, restoring things or you know re renovating things, I can buy new pipe work, clean this up in, you know, however. Um, this thing I'm hoping I can sew the blast, get that up nice and clean. Um, my fear is if I take everything apart, like each individual bit, I've got to then write lots and lots and lots of instructions about how it all goes back together. Um, whereas that in itself is a mini project that I can just come to when I've got time. Uh, and that's hopefully going to work for me. This is what I managed to hoover out from the top of the engine. Uh, looks like a squirrel was living in there at some point. Um, as you can see, there's all sorts of little nuts. There's what I think are two walnuts there. Um, I have no idea why. Uh, there's still quite a lot of stuff in there, like waiting to be taken out. But I need to take the um, that whole assembly at the top of the engine off, uh, the math sensor and all that, just to get a proper access to it. Okay, so looking at removing this assembly now. It sits in the middle of the V. There's the fuel distributor, MAF sensor and throttle body. Um, there's four hard pipes coming here, fuel, uh, and there's one going out the back. So there's five hard, you know, these metal pipes. Um, and then it looks like there's a, just a runner bolt side to side. 
uh, and I believe that just lifts off. That can then be put away um, and you know tidied up when I get to it. But potentially soda blasted as well. So these are the pipes that run the actually the fuel supply in and return um, to the fuel distributor. They connect up here, go off back down to the fuel tank and fuel pumps, uh, and then just connect onto the fuel distributor here. Put them away in the box. Okay, I've got the cylinder numbering now for the um, spark plugs, the HG leads, so I can remove the all the HG leads and the distributor cap. The order is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So in looking at the distributor, it has these little screws. There's two of them, one this side. They're actually screws, you push them down and it um, undoes this sort of clip here. I hope that's focusing correctly. Um, it kind of, you just turn it and it unhooks and there's one either side. Um, the other one's just here. I might be able to do it on the camera. Check your focus. There, that's it. So this bit here came unhooked. Um, and then that should just lift away, I think. Um. I don't think there's a lot to tell from the distributor cap actually it's um, the contacts look reasonable a little bit dirty some of them if I try and get you nicely zoomed in you can see that's about as bad as they get there That's the whole assembly. Oops. Quite nice to see in one lump. Um, let me just undo this one pipe, you can see the problem here. this pipe off. There she is. Okay, so it's that whole assembly off now. So with the fueling meter all removed, you can see how much junk was down the bottom there. A little friendly squirrel who put stashed all his nuts. But, uh, I'll hoover that out now. But the engine's starting to get stripped down quite nicely. So at this side are things to take off um, and then we'll have those heads off. So that's how the uh, inner V looks after a quick clean with some brake cleaner. Quite impressive difference. Um, obviously it's not been soda blasted or anything, that's literally just sprayed um, sprayed and rubbed. Be interesting to see how the rest of the engine comes up. If it looks anything like that, that'd be amazing. Removing some of the pipes. Um, naturally I don't know which one that is, but you can see the uh, so that's the pipe that came off of it. If you can see down inside it, it's just sort of angry around a little bit. The amount of stuff sort of bl almost blocking it in there. It's crazy. Look forward to cleaning all that stuff out. Right, it's time to remove the distributor. Um, what I need to do is get the engine at TDC, which uh, it's very hard to see on this because it's so rusty, but just there is zero T. And I need to align that with this marker here. So when that's lined up, the engine, I believe, is at TDC, top dead center. 
Um, and then I can just pull, well, obviously unscrew, but just zoom out enough to be able to see it. There it is, distributor there, um, which I, from just quickly inspection, looks like I just undo that bolt, um, and I think it just pulls out. So let's try and do that now. Certainly the uh, end of it doesn't look like there's anywhere at all. Um, the rest of it says otherwise, the outside part. But maybe it's okay, I'll bag it. So from top dead center, uh, which is where I think this is right, so tell me if I'm wrong in the comments, uh, cylinder one is at the top. What I'm gonna do is rotate the crank around to about three o'clock, which I've been told is where all of the valves will be furthest into the heads, as opposed to some of the valves pushed it fully out into the cylinders, um, which makes sense. It just makes taking the heads off a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do is put a bit of tape on here, like that, and the top of the tape, well, the bottom of the tape is at, t at the, you know, the TDC marker. This one's roughly vertical, so if I rotate that round now, so the top of the tape is roughly at 3 o'clock. Hopefully that's, that will work okay. Um, looking at removing this entire assembly now, uh, which I think is the warm-up regulator. There's a thermostat valve in there somewhere, I believe. Um, anyway, this. Uh, it looks like there is a Allen key bolt there and two Allen keys this side, uh, which I'll go ahead and try and undo now. Uh, it looks pretty rusty, this one, so um, I'm recording because it could be trouble. I'm still trying to get out these uh, Allen head bolts. I've got three of them still stuck inside the engine. Um, I've put a lot of force on that one there with an Allen key um, and it's got to that point, it's about to sort of round it out. So I'm not gonna put any more on it. I'm gonna use my nut extractor, um, which is like that. And I can just tap it on. I've taken off a few of the extra pipes up here. If I just tap it on there, make sure it's on nice and tight. And then if I zoom you out, you can see. Snapped it off. Brilliant. Okay, that one clearly was tight. Um, so that's going to need, I think this assembly probably will not now come off and I'll have to extract that. Okay, so let's try this one. I'm not sure I can get directly on it, but let's just try. Good couple of wax. Got it? Yeah. I tried it a second ago and it wouldn't come loose, but I think that crack was it breaking free. Okay. I'll take this off now. All the bolts are undone on this now, as far as I can see. So I'm hoping it's just a matter of tapping it with a rubber mallet to sort of break it free. Obviously there's the stud on one side or the bolt one side that's sheared off so it's now like a stud. But um, I think it should still come off. Still trying to get this entire assembly off. Uh, it's pretty solid for some reason. Um, but removing the thermostat housing, I just tapped it with a hammer so I know it will come off. Uh, you can see the state of it in there. 
that clearly has not been out for a while. Um, I'll remove the thermostat and we can, uh, I think I need to buy a new one, that is pretty dead. Um, and I'll continue trying to get that whole assembly off. I'm not sure what's holding it on now. Um, I've heated it up, heat cycled it a few times. Uh, there must be a hidden bolt somewhere. I suspect it's kind of corroded in around here. Um, but I think I need to read up a little bit and just work out how to remove it. Okay, so finally I've won. I managed to get the bridge off. Um, I'll explain what I did because it might be useful. Um, ultimately, I just take this out of the way. I've covered the um, this up. I've put pieces of wood on here, and then I've levered using a, a long um, couple of socket sets, sort of together, like that. Levering up, then periodically putting a piece of wood on here and really giving it a good tap. I mean, okay, hitting as hard as I could. And it slowly inched it back and forwards. Where mine was caught was here. The corrosion here was holding it in place. And I mean, you look at the state of this thing, it's awful. Um, like buildups just dropping out. Um, I could see it was just starting to wobble. And then as soon as it wobbled, lift it with the um, this socket set bar and it just pulled off. What that's left is, now I'll lift you up so you can have a look. Um, that's left the stud there, which I'm hoping I can use a stud extractor to take out. It's just there. It's um, it's a fair length, so I'd be hopeful we could get that out. Uh, I hope. But I'll give you a little look. You can see how grubby things are. Um, I don't know how many years. Uh, well, it's 40, 41 years old, the car. Um, it's just a lot of gunk, I don't know what that is in there, God knows, um, we'll try and pull all that stuff out. I'm hoping um, I can take the car outside and sort of put a hose into the water system and just blow it all through, because uh, there seems to be a lot of sort of gunk and stuff inside it. Well I think that wraps up this week's video, um, pretty good week I'd say, obviously last seven days ago we had got, actually got the engine out and on the stand, so this week I've been focusing on getting the... Um, Top clear, ready to take the heads off. The fuel metering came off. The water bridge uh, came off with a lot of fighting. And obviously one snap, snap stud. Um, I've also managed to free up the seven remaining spark plugs, so that's good. They're all ready to come out. Um, and I've just started looking inside the cam covers and I'll go ahead and order a tool, like a long nose socket set Allen uh, key so I can get in there and really get some a good connection on that bolt. So I've been warned about those stripping, which is gonna be nasty. Um, so join me next week where those heads will be coming off, or I'll be trying to get those heads off. Um, please subscribe, uh, and I'll see you next time.